Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Have you ever been reading a data sheet and just found yourself getting really excited about the product? Well, that happened to me this week. Now, it's not a cutting edge new concept or a big technological breakthrough of any kind. In fact, it's just a humble RTD, a resistor temperature detector. Now, I'm sure most of us have used temperature sensors in the past. Heck, we used to include one with the SparkFun Inventors kit for years. And while you may have used a temperature sensor in the past, you have not used anything like the new SparkFun High Precision Temperature Sensor. This I2C enabled quick board uses a TMP117, which brings with it an entire new level of precision, accuracy, and repeatability. How precise and accurate? How does 16 bit resolution for 78 ten thousandths of a degree Celsius sound? Yeah, that's how it sounds. Okay, for practical specs, it's accurate to plus or minus 0.1 degrees Celsius within the heart of its range, minus 20 up to 50 Celsius. That's about 4 below to 122 in Fahrenheit. Its total operating range is 55 below to 150 above, again in Celsius, which translates to about 67 below up to 300 Fahrenheit. And even at the far ends of its range, you're still going to be accurate to within plus or minus 0.3 degrees Celsius. Its operating voltage can be anywhere from 1.8 to 5.5 volts DC, so running it on I2C's 3.3 volts is perfect. And with its super low power consumption, 3.5 microamps when running a 1 hertz conversion cycle, and 150 nanoamps shutdown current, the impact of self-heating on measurement accuracy is greatly minimized. It also offers four selectable I2C addresses, three programmable operating modes, a continuous, one-shot, and shutdown, plus programmable temperature alert limits, selectable averaging for reduced noise, digital offset for system correction, and NIST traceability. Uh, that last one, if you missed it, is NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology. This is a medical grade ASTM E1112 and ISO 80601-2-56 certified sensor. That's kind of a big deal. So I've set up two sensors here. We've got the TMP117 alongside a BME280. If we take a look at the serial plotter here, you can see that the BME280 is running about a degree and a half Fahrenheit higher than the TMP117, and that's due to the operating current. The TMP117 is so low it has almost no effect on its temperature reading, which is great. Now, I'm not talking badly about the BME280. I use it all the time, especially if I need pressure or humidity sensing as well. But if you just need super high precision temperature sensing, the TMP117 is the way to go. And since we put this on a quick board, and it's also medical grade, you can use this from initial concept and prototyping all the way through final production. Look at you, I can already see you're thinking about projects to use it in. I can tell. So pick up your SparkFun high precision temperature sensor over at sparkfun.com today, and happy hacking. Yeah, that's warm. But this new one, what about this new one? I started to get really excited about the start, past tense, present tense. Okay, keep my tenses the same. The SparkFun high precision temperature sensor, I'll bet. Yes. All right. <laughs> well, you may have, ah, so close. I think I did. SparkFun high precision temperature sensor, yes.